When I was a child, I spent a lot of time roaming in and around the western mountain range in India, the native place where I belong. Naturally, I cultivated the habit of doing the hike as a hobby, and I also kept doing my education in engineering. Keeping my career in mind, I moved to Germany to pursue my Master of Science. But fortunately, I also got opportunity to explore the Alps mountain range here in Germany and Austria. Being from developing nation like India, hiking was not very famous activity. In contrast, it was very regular activity in Germany. And suddenly I started noticing a lot of difference between the hiking in Germany and hiking in India. In both countries, I have done a sufficient amount of hike to share my experience about it. So here I am today to share my knowledge about hiking in India and hiking in Germany. Today's video is not much about the trek as such for the Rothwan because last time we already tried to attend this trek and at that time there was so much snow and it, at that time it was a failed trek so this is a more like comparison kind of trek like just comparing the trekking environment of Germany with the India so let me know how do you find this So when you go for any hiking places, so very first thing comes in your mind is the public transport. The availability of the public transport and how the place is very well connected with the city or the place where you exactly belong or where, we, where you exactly live. So if you can see the German scenario, so the, all the hiking places in Germany, I will say the very well connected with the public transport. And plus if you are traveling in a group, for example, if you are traveling in a group of five, you will get added advantages with the public transport because you will get some of the discount with the group tickets but if you are comparing it with the India obviously the hiking and the trekking is not that much good and developed activity in India like a lot of people don't know much about the hiking nowadays it's growing but this is the start of the group and therefore lot of places I will say not very well connected with the good public transport and even if there are some of the places which are connected with the public transport but there might be the issue of the buses frequency and other public transport might be like the railways and anything so that's also one of the very important and major point so once you reach to the base of the any hiking place the next thing comes is about the road and the directions about how to go to the peak of the mountains or something like that one of the major difference in uh, hiking in Germany and India is if you come to the hiking in Germany you will find a lot of direction boards like this so specifically and it has also marked with some of the color like kind, red means it's kind of difficult route and there might be a different different routes so in Germany if you can see like even the people if they are going with the minimal research they might reach to the peak because it is very well maintained with the, all the direction sign and if there is no direction sign at least there might be a, some signature might be the color on the tree or something like that but if you think about the India then in India there is no such sign directional sign I will say at least not in the most of the hiking place there might be at some of the hiking places it is available but that hiking place might be very well developed but the majority of hiking places you will not find any direction sign or any I will say the color coding system or something like that. So that is the one of the gap between the routing and I will say how to go to the peak. But I will say like in India it, for me it is kind of more adrenaline rush if I am going to search the route by my own rather than just following the sign path. So that is something I think this is the missing part somewhere in Germany. And apart from this route, the one of the uh, major and interesting fact I like about Germany is that for the most of the hiking route, there are side by side cycling routes also. So it is very good for the cyclists. I will say this is good for the cycling also and as well as good for the hiking also. So majority, I will say 80% of route in Germany for the trekking are such kind of route. 
you have cycling plus trekking or sometimes trekking also and cycling route also and it's also again depend on the difficulty of trek so might be if you want to go via some rocky patches then there will not be cycling route there might be a cycling route but it it will be might be from the another route or something like that and apart from that due to the heavy winter condition in germany so there are some skiing resort or skiing path and due to that skiing park they have to build the cable car so some of the hiking places you can go to the cable car by half of the way or might be at till the peak of the mountain by the cable car itself so there are i will say lot of lot of big difference available here so now you have reached to the base or at least in the middle somewhere and you have to stay for one night so it's all come about the camping so the interesting fact here is you cannot camp anywhere in the alps range specifically in austria italy switzerland and germany so you have dedicated place basically here in germany or in alps so where you can rent out the place and you can place your tent there but if you think about the india i think you can place your tent anywhere and you don't have to pay anything for that but it comes with the some of the adventure i will say because you might face some of the wildlife and you might face some of the difficulties also during the camping and apart from the camping you also find some of the restaurant or you can say kind of hotel in the middle of the hiking or at some time it's top of the hiking also where you can rent one bed it's not as royal as the five star hotel or one star hotel even it is just a normal place where you will get kind of bed to sleep in the night so another interesting point in germany is for the most of the places you will find at the peak there is some kind of place where you can stay basically you will get your bed and something it is obviously uh, you have to pay the rent for that so you, you might see there there is a one like you can say it in very small frame because of the uh, lens is pretty wide angle lens so this is something additive like as compared to india i say i don't think so in himalayan mountain in india also you will find such kind of place because you will find everything there you can go you can eat there you can stay there and you have to book it but you have to rebook it that's something actually is very nice thing also i will say in winter time that act hot actually get close so it's only open in the summer time that's also point to remember if you are traveling or if you are doing trekking in the germany or alps हम बैठे सो फाइनली वी रीच टू द रोतवान ऐसो इफ यू थिंक अबाउट द वेदर कंडीशन वेदर कंडीशन इन जर्मन इज लाइक ऑलमोस्ट सिक्स मंथ इट्स काइंड ऑफ वेरी गुड अमाउंट ऑफ स्नो इट्स नॉट लाइक वेरी लाइट स्नो वेरी गुड अमाउंट ऑफ स्नो सो यू हैव टू बी वेरी गुड प्रिपेयर विथ यूर किड्स एंड गेयर यू कैन नॉट कम डायरेक्टली विदाउट शूज and the rest of the 6 months are summer but in summer time it's pretty good it's pretty greener everywhere you can come without snow shoes also and it's just like you have to be with good with your health other than that everything is kind of good thing and in india i think it's pretty much good uh, except himalayan mountain i'm saying so everywhere around the india you can trek any time except in the monsoon time might be in western range you don't have to be that much prepared as compared to the snow for the year to prepare the snow but yes for the himalayan hike might be and obviously himalayan hike will be way much tougher than this all hike so yeah that's something very interesting comparison here and if i think about the population wise so since the population of germany is quite low so i think the crowd coming to the hike is not as much big, big as compared to india in india i think nowadays kind of tourist it's becoming the tourist spot all the hiking spots become the tourist spot so yeah that's the another point but yeah every everything has its own advantage and disadvantage i think i like pretty much about the monsoon things monsoon in india is also very good i like 
to trek in the monsoon and here i will say i like to trek in the summer because of the beauty around and you will not face any difficulty for the hiking so another important thing in germany is if you are traveling on the sunday then you should remember everything is closed almost all the supermarkets and all other stuff so that thing you have to keep in mind and you have to buy the things beforehand and also so if there is some shop at mountain peak or something like that so most of the time they will not accept any card or something you have to keep the cash with you so i think in india that is pretty good everywhere nowadays you have the upi system and i think everywhere kind of you will have the mobile range also so yeah that's something very good thing to do after mentioning all this you might be thinking hiking in germany is comparatively easier more developed and it might be fun to to hike in such safe environment still in my opinion one thing which i miss here is the adrenaline rush that i get in every uncertain and unknown hiking place in india This picture might change in India in upcoming year but the beauty of German Alps winter hike and the beautiful turquoise color lake around the Alps is something which I will always admire. Every rocky path in Alpine region also offer a great adventure. It will be difficult for me to choose which is better and which is bad. Every place has its own advantage and own disadvantage. Everything is unique in its own way. Just the one thing which I will say is keep exploring every place. because life is too short and world is too big का हो गया था हाल इसका इतना इतना था इतना हवा था मेरे हवा निकल गए अभी तो वैसे पैसे वाले है तो ड्रोन वोन दूसरे भी अफोर्ड कर रहे तो सब्सक्राइब कर लो पैसे आ जाएंगे इसको तो इसकी फटेगी नहीं प्राइवेट चैनल चालू कर देना तो ज्वाइन नाउ बटन पे क्लिक करके थोड़ा बहुत डोनेशन दे दो पेटीएम नंबर बता नहीं उधर थैंक्स बटन पे नीचे थैंक्स बटन पे हम नहीं देंगे हम नहीं देंगे पैसे आप दे दो ठीक है बट थैंक्स वो वो ज्वाइन के पहले सब्सक्राइब बटन दबाना सब्सक्राइब एंड नोटिफिकेशन सब्सक्राइब 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 करो सब्सक्राइब